Village trustees, President Sardo, ladies and gentlemen, I believe the signs that are out here kind of speak for themselves. The judge said it, we didn't. Infamous crimes, what is an infamous crime? Well, in the, in today in the paper, in the Herald, there was a story about a gentleman in a cafeteria up in McHenry that touched a woman's breast and was charged and was given $20,000 bail and is waiting and possibly can do five to 10 years. <coughs> Mr. Humphrey's crime, basically what happened, he was found guilty on all four counts. And in the time that he was in court, the judge found him guilty. Now, on four counts, well, the count that the gentleman did in McHenry to the count that Mr. Humphrey did, one is worse than the other. The man touched a woman's breast. This gentleman lightly used a baseball bat on his wife. It was in the papers, and Trustee Sigwalt and her son testified. Their stories did not cooperate at all. That's what the judge saw. A crime was committed. In the beginning, when before he ran for trustee, he admitted to what he had did earlier and said, I am still with my family, but yet they still voted for him. They talked about different issues about the Open Meetings Act, that these trustees were having meetings, and then he admitted again in the paper, I guess it's my fault. I did it. Well, you know, there is just so much out there. We were handing out flyers over the weekend, and one trustee did not like it in her neighborhood. Not only did she not like it, she ran after the gentlemen that were handing them out, demanding, because she was a trustee, she knew the law with another lady, and said, give me those flyers. Not one of them turned around and gave them to her because we already knew the law. We checked with the village. We checked with the attorneys. Can we do this? Absolutely. She took it upon herself to get in her vehicle and chase these people down. She stopped them. She put her car diagonally and on the sidewalk and turned around and did what she did. I filed a police report on this. And I believe that I have the right as a citizen of Carpentersville and to the United States of the Constitution that my complaint should be heard. Because if it's not, the other suits that have been filed against this village using her official name as a trustee knowing the law instead of picking that phone up and calling and simply saying, officer, there's a man handing flyers out. Is it legal or not legal? She thinks she knows the law. She thinks she knows it all. But if it's not something she did or she thought, it's not going to happen. 